Let's take a look at this absolute beauty. Remember that if you want to get notified about this or any other upcoming series, you can subscribe to this channel and this will support us to get to the 90,000 subscribers, especially that I can see that only 40% of you are subscribing and bring this up to 50 would already let us do that. I promise to do one final episode of the Byzantium campaign. If we hit 3000 likes on the video, we did. So here we go, this is the final one. And the goal for today is to form the Roman Empire and create very beautiful borders. And to form Roman Empire, I don't really need that much. I wasn't ever rushing it, because you can see I was focusing a lot on going east, especially that Oman is also our vassal, same for Bahmanis. To form Roman Empire, I have to get the whole Iberia, one province over here, second half of France because I have like half of France right now, and the biggest problem, London of course, York, the biggest problem over here will be to annex Austria. They have like 700 development and that won't be an easy and quick annexation, so that's something that I'll have to focus on today. I'm gonna break my alliance with Spain as soon as I peace out this war and I get I guess, expansion etc. But uh, I also see that Florence could join my coalition, they're just not doing that because currently they are at war with someone else. So what if I attack them? Great Britain will join, so it's good I'll get the truce with Great Britain. And I just promise Spain lands. Then I'm not gonna give them the lands, I'm gonna break the alliance anyway. So let's just go and declare them now. From Venice and the coalition members, I'm not taking that much, just enough to not let Commonwealth join the coalition. So all these nations already could join it. Let me just take full money on top of that. Those provinces also provinces from Morocco because it's not much AE for those. Zek, thank you so much. You can see the Commonwealth is 47. And uh, before I peace out Provence, I need to get all of my troops on the border of Commonwealth because I want to take them down as they will be joining each of my coalitions. What we are gonna do is to regain the chorus of Bohemia. I promise you that in the comment section. And that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be tough. We have 99 over extension, but most of it's gonna be core soon. Can peace out these guys. Now from Provence, I'm gonna take the Italian provinces. Two provinces here without the capital because it's too much over extension. And one province from Bordeaux. This will make Spain <laughs> very angry at us, but we don't really care. See that Commonwealth is gonna be able to join the coalition easily. Send the peace deal. Look at this. Yes. Uh, that made pretty much the Protestants angry, not the Catholics that much. So what I want to do right now, I want to increase my current absolutism. How I'm supposed to achieve that? Well, I have plenty of princes that I annexed from vassals that I never stated. So for example, if I state this, this, definitely the French provinces, and same on the middle is the provinces in Persia. I can lose the trade companions, I will redo them later. But this is fine, this, 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 and this. And this, after a math tick, I should be able to decrease the autonomy in plenty of provinces. That won't be like very much, but that's a nice increase. So it's already 32 and I keep harsh treatment on all of these rebels. So this way we keep increasing absolutism and of course I'm gonna destate those provinces because I don't really need them stated and I don't have enough of golf cup to keep them stated. Let's see how long it's gonna take to annex freaking Austria. This is gonna be forever. <laughs> 18, 14. Okay, let's start doing it. One thing that could work over here is to change their religion to orthodox and that's gonna work. They're gonna still be loyal. It's gonna be 100 years quicker, but it's still at least 50 years too slow, so I'll have to work on our diplomatic reputation. Getting into the war of Commonwealth, Turkey is getting all of those guys that are already in the coalition, but even if we combine all of them together, they still have less troops than us and our subjects. We go for the reconquest, where you have far less access expansion and a long truce against the Commonwealth. So let me just go for a reconquest. And that's gonna be a reconquest of the Olomoluts, or Womuniec in Polish. So that's gonna be fairly easy to take and then defend. Let's go, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Right away when I attacked, Vijay joined our coalition. Theoretically it's saying that all of those guys will be joining the war, but they can't. Because uh, I'm already at war with them. So let me just declare for the reconquest, for the Mugdal, because it's also easy war goal. Honestly, it's a Hindu country. Just go for the holy war. Just go for the holy war. They have, these guys have 250k troops, but it's counting the, all of those guys' troops. So we just declare, 
You'll see that they have a lot of truth because it's uh, like 90,000, but it's far better than it seems to be. They're trying to re-siege the war goal, but they are here with the very trash zone, which is 1-3. The better is coming from Riga, but we're having a 5-6 general that are gonna... Yeah, that he's gonna... Maybe not easily actually win here, because they are gonna reinforce it with 20k, but yeah, they changed their mind the moment they saw Austrians arriving. Okay, so I can now uh, take this stack and go straight for the capital. Ah, and I'm running out of manpower. Oh, no. Anyway, but I can of course go and slack end, which is more than enough. My ruler just died, which is uh, bad news because we lost stability, uh, but it's also news because he was having one in Diplo, and we really do need Diplo points right now. I need this, so the gap capacity from nobility, but I'm also gonna cancel to increase my max absolutism. And as for the GAF capacity, remember we still have some states that we don't really need, like Languedot, for example Auvergne, that's, that's tons of GAF capacity that it cost me, but not so much of income. So thanks to this, GAF capacity is not a problem. Take a look right now, after an accession of one finished, at our borders. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? What is our current great power score? It's 5.5 thousand. So I rank a little bit behind in the technologies. I need to start building spy network on someone that I'll be able to steal the technologies from. It's time for our fifth idea group and this one is gonna be fairly important because well this is a choice between two ideas actually humanist for the stability of the country but right now we don't have any problems with it thanks to the religious ideas and everything converted so I'm just gonna go for the diplo ideas for the province war score cost, deeper reputation and improved relations. I'm gonna use the war of Mamluks to get a foothold over here in Africa and this is because we want more diplomatic reputation and more diplomatic reputation is coming from where? From Ivory. Why it will be happening? First I need to attack Spain, call Denmark on our side and it's time to take them down. I really hope that they are having a lot of troops in the new world during in the Spanish <laughs> War of Honor. This is gonna be my first piece against Spain. You can see that I'm trying to cut off some terrains so the rebels could get over here and break free, but that's gonna be tough. The centerpiece deal, so right now the province war score cost in total is 475, but remember it also counts provinces like this, like this, like this. So provinces that I don't really need to form the Roman Empire. Um, what's gonna be our heir? That's gonna be the house of the Kenyos. <laughs> That's good news, because we have 420 blaze it. But of course I'm not gonna keep it this piece of trash, even if it's so special, 420. I have to ditch him. I'm very sorry about that. It's fine because with our current speed of conquest, how faster spending the Adam Manal coring than we are actually gaining it. Monthly, but this is cool because for the next two technologies, there's nothing interesting. Is it tech 22 is gonna be the next idea group, tech 23 is gonna be the alloy efficiency. What's gonna be important is tech 20 for the gaff capacity, but it's not anytime soon, so it's fine. I could just spend all of my admin mana on coring. What's our AE in Poland again? 77. Yeah, we need to get ready to deal with both Florence and Commonwealth in a very near time. So let me go and rush Provence first and then get ready on. Commonwealth. Harsh treatment costs minus 50% from this. I can pretty much almost get to maximum. It's 73 out of 78. Let's just go yeah. 10 points. 10 points. 10 points. This is 13. Just do it. So it's already 77 out of 78. And we can still increase it by at least 10 by getting our crown lands to 50%. And then also cancelling this privilege. From Maravi, only the coastline and as many as possible Ivory provinces and trade centers in this node. So this way after I add the trade centers to the trade company, we might have a chance to get additional merchants, which I will send here because we want to get trading in Ivory. I'm pissing out Nogai just to avoid them from joining the coalition and I'm just gonna fit Moscow with the provinces. Maybe I can take one, one province for ourselves. It's no big rush of pissing out Provence and just wants to get ready for my war of Commonwealth. So we just take 1, 2, 3, 4 provinces. That's 44% of overextension, 190 point to core, so 
I'm a little bit behind, but as told you, we need to get ready for the war with Poland. So let me peace them out already. I might break their relations with... No, I'm not gonna break the relations with Bavaria or Great Britain, because it's always a free truce for us, so they won't join the coalitions. And the Commonwealth War, it's not gonna be a conquest because we conquered everything that you wanted to. It's gonna be cleansing the heresy, called Denmark, and... That's gonna be again tough, they have 120k troops, but we should be fine. I really don't have time and resources to take this war for longer, so I'm gonna just take those provinces and then gonna feed them into Moscow. He just let me delete the forts, so Moscow he won't be having to maintain them. Then I'm gonna peace out by Yapas. 413 arrow. <laughs> no! No, God! Just get rid of him. From Bayapas, I'm gonna fully annex them. Tick, 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 and tick. So many rebels to do with. From Bengal, we are gonna take all of the provinces around here. Tick. And now it seems that we are having 189 over extension. And we definitely don't have enough of admin mana to core all of those provinces. So let's first of all give Moscow those. But that's still out, that's 165. So around here I'm gonna release a vassal. We have one place for a vassal after all. Uh, which is gonna be Assam. Assam is a good position. To feed them over here and let them expand. I'm just gonna feed them with those provinces. While those I'll keep myself to have still the war goal on those nations. So this way you're having 141 over extension. But you can see that many of those provinces will be cored soon and that will take time for us to carve the rest ourselves. With this agenda, yes, done, I can cancel another privilege, which is the one for the advisor, because which is not that important for us. And that increases our absolutes to 83. This is funny, like with one stack, preventing the rebels and all of those I stab at least 10 different rebels loading. They were like 0.5. Point one of the unrest and thanks to this my unrest provi the province is, is looking like this. We technically have a problem with coalition, right? But the good thing is that most of these nations are big. So this is not like a hundred different OPMs in the coalition which would be far worse. Just those big nations. And by attacking Pope I will get it worth three of them. So we just get a free truce by getting rid of another country that could join this coalition. Wait a second, isn't this our same stats as my current ruler? <laughs> of course he is, it's 3-3-5. Free, free, it's the same case with Venice, even though I don't have any troops to take care of them, I'm attacking right away to make sure they won't join the coalition. We have really big issues with manpower right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one, two, three. Free loans because that's cost enough. I'm gonna invest it first to fall in some training fields. And then also on the soldiers' households to make sure to maximize our manpower. Nasty piece with VG because we keep killing them right now. The war score cost is 297%. In this war against Spain, I would be able to take more or less all of those prints. This is not that much still. But I can take another diplo idea, which is Province war score cost, and with this, see the 79. So I can, for example, break one in half again over here with those two provinces, just 98% of the war score, 109 of the overextension, uh, even one more, which will make Spain absolutely beautiful. I'm still in the middle, pretty much even the, at the beginning of the war with Spain, and my truce with Commonwealth ended. And even though I don't have any resources to deal with them, I need to declare so they won't join the coalition. I know that I did it already, but I'm gonna <laughs> give Commonwealth my own provinces because I simply don't have resources to fight them right now. And I need truce with the coalition. So just peace them out. <laughs> I will retake it. <laughs> Again, Spain's our priority. We need Spanish provinces to form the Roman Empire. Same case with Provence, not peace with them, but declaring war on them because they will join the coalition otherwise to get rid of Great Britain. Just declare and we need to still take a couple of princes from them to form the Roman Empire. I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move. These guys are totally attacking me. On 4th of September, if I just scorch air for 5 power points, they're gonna get hostile movement speed minus 50%, so they're gonna he get here on the 14th of September, meaning they at might stack wipe this 20k without them being able to reinforce it on time, but my army quality is not good enough, I think, to get a wipe here. It should still be a 1 battle. And we have enough of the short superiority war score now to get the ticking war score. 
and I probably should start running away because they will attack us if we go on Gaff. Can I really wipe Spanish troops in Sale? Let's just see this. Not in this battle, but I think in the next one. Okay, now they're starting running away. Promise next buy. Yes, and they've arrived there before the month tick. That should be a wipe. Still not. It means that's gonna be the next battle. Five minutes later. Oh, if I was getting a free war score for each of these battles. Only just, just getting it for some of them. It just doesn't make any sense. See, no losers, no war score. Just, phew, waste of time. One day we'll keep just wipe them. Anyway, before that happens, I'll be able to have time to peace out Provence. Let me double check what we need from them for the Roman Empire. We still need those provinces. So let me check, get those and select the capital, which costs more. And maybe one additional province. Let's wait until we get the war score. Yes! We wiped the Spaniards. Okay, now Spain is gonna accept whatever I want to take from them. That's gonna be a lot of our extension and a lot of power points to court, which I don't have. But honestly, we don't really care. So let's just send this peace deal. I'm right away attacking Morocco, which is guaranteed by Spain. They're not gonna accept. Uh, to maximize our gains from the wars, we need to upgrade two monuments. Of course, Malt I already mentioned. And it's building on the first level, but we need to get it on level 3. And the same we have to do in Grada, of course, for Alhambra to get additional 5% of admin efficiency. So by the way, from the promises that I just took from Castile, I'm gonna add the civilian trade centers, the trade company, to simply get additional merchants to my collection. Mm, Portugal, I want all of your provinces in Iberia. They don't want to accept it, but... Right now, thanks to investing in money, we're getting level 2 of Malta Force, which means that costs us less war score, so they're gonna totally accept it. That's sick. It's just getting better and better. And also, look what is happening here. Yes, Alhambra is on the way. I'm pretty much upgrading this once monthly. Manufacture is started in Madrid, which is not that good news, but we will take it in the next war. And still, I think... Yeah, they're not gonna spread too quickly in our country, because... We didn't build many of manufacturers. Finally, we finished annexation of Austria. And look at these borders. They are just so close to be so clean. And what's that decision that we just got? Trim from the Balkans. <laughs> Prestige and army tradition that I don't really need. So no thank you, I'm not gonna click it. Thanks to this, our great power scores 7,500 now. And with Alhambra finished, Right now our admin efficiency is 48%. Oh, really? This... Oh, why is AI so stupid? For like few years they weren't even able to take care of these troubles. And because of that, I have to do it myself. Fine, I'll do it myself. So I'm just gonna go and recruit 20k over here to deal with them. At least I can quicker peace out Ethiopia. I'm gonna take the whole coastline over here for cool borders and connection between the lands and of course I want additional merchant from Wolf of Aden. This time instead of attacking Provence I should directly attack Great Britain to get two provinces that I need for the Roman Empire. Great Britain and call Provence as a co-belligent in this war. That's gonna be a giant war and that's why we need to peace out Poland ASAP. For Great Britain and uh, Provence is gonna be very annoying because they called most of Europe but it's also very cool because I'll get rid of these nations out of my coalition. These wars of these miners are not that hard. You just need to get their capitals, occupy a couple of provinces, and they usually accept at least a white piece and ideally even breaking some of their relations. Well, well yeah, of course, they're not waiting for me just to switch them down. <laughs> they are switching my provinces over here in Western Europe, which doesn't really matter for us if you consider how many provinces we have in total. As I'm slowly coring out of provinces, I can also piece out Genoa, of course, full annex as we need the Italian provinces for the Roman Empire. And we are keeping our extension around 100. And the fun thing about how they are occupying this province is that purely piecing out Provence and Flanders and Orléans reoccupy most of my provinces because British are only having this in control. Time for a sea lion. I just gathered all of my ships into one stack. There are three ways how you want to land in the AI Great Britain. 
First way, you create such a big navy stack that they are afraid to attack you even though they have more navy, they just, just more split. Even there are four ways. Second way, you just get your transport ships here and everywhere around you get every other ship so it will hold enough time for you just to cross and get into the mainland. Third way is you have enough of heavy ships, you're doing an efficient naval gameplay, meaning you're attacking 15 heavy ships, then running away and attacking another 15 ships, running away, attacking another 15 ships, and keep doing that until Great Britain will run out of morale and all of the navies will just start dying. But for this, you need like 60 heavy ships at least, so it's not that much efficient. And the fourth way, just get a better navy quality, which is the hardest, right? Okay, uh, let me get these guys in the ships. Look, with Sussex down, Getting more troops there is just a piece of cake. You just click A, attach to the navy, click, click. We just did literally a few days to do so. And there's, unless they stand here with the navy, they can't really stop us. Get rid of Provence right now. Click this way. Let's see how many provinces we actually lacking for the Roman Empire here. Only Calais, then it's London and New York. And of course, in two years, I'll choose with Spain as handing and winning all of those provinces. And I think to get all of those provinces, I need to improve the Malta forts, which will happen as soon as I reach 5,000 of treasury. We only need York and London and Calais for Roman Empire. I'm taking all the trade centers at the same time in the English Channel. Full money and ideally also war reparations. Just send the peace deal. Thanks to this, we have money to speed up. Malta forts, which will finish right away. Ho oh, ho, coalition is dissolving. And right now, Spain war scroll cost is 193. So I think this should be not for those points because they have provinces here as well, provinces here, here. So that should be more or less enough. Good news is that I have enough potential war scroll cost to take whole Spain one more, but that's 97%. So what I'll have to do not only to conquer everything here. But I also have to go and take down Florida with one of my stacks, but I have enough navy to take care of that. Of course, I also need Saluzzo to form the Roman Empire, so I'm right away attacking them when my truce ended, and to do with the allies as well. Because all of these conquests, I got some issues with gap capacity, but look at this. I'm getting plenty of card houses to fix it. Finally. Mr. Spain, time to say goodbye. <gasps> Ow! Did they change their minds a second? No, we have to wait a little bit more. That's gonna be 145 over extension and 600 points to Cordo Provinces, so that's gonna take a while. Let's piece them out. Already? Isn't this beautiful? And that's triumph in the Italy, which we don't really need right now. And for the Roman Empire, we pretty much only need Fest right now, which I could take from my vassal. But I'm gonna just annex him, so that's gonna be even easier. Let's take a look at this absolute beauty. B E A beautiful. Once we annexed Tafilalt and the Bachmanis, the borders are absolutely beautiful. We've got 8.8 thousand of the great power score, 800 of our own income, and now we just need to work on the buildings to increase stats like max force limit or manpower but it's like super easy like how it looks like and finally we can form the Roman Empire and I think this is the cutest Roman Empire I've seen in a while especially in the 1666 and take a look at Roman Empire ideas if you don't know they're giving discipline, manpower, unrest, reputation, stab cost Force limit, infantry compatibility, production, tax, and core creation cost. So this is absolutely beautiful. I think that it might have changed my main node. Uh, this is also, also this bunny, the small coalition of few miners that was inside it. And I just wants to make. Oh, even Pokemon uh, left the coalition. Ah, I know what happened. I know what happened. As my capital moved to Rome, I've lost all of the trade companies created in Western Europe. But to be honest, it doesn't completely matter because this is the last episode of this series. So if you guys, if you enjoyed this, remember to leave a like and I'm gonna see you very soon in even better challenges.